So what's the deal with this Serbian film? Is it sick as fuck or what? Uh, yeah, this is my response to Tetsu Dorman's video about the Serbian film being the sickest movie ever. Why is it? Uh, well, first off, I'll show you what I got. This is a crappy burn of a screener copy that I crudely wrote a Serbian film on a blank case for. Uh, I do intend on buying it eventually, whenever I can get a hold of it, whenever I get employed. But, um, if you haven't seen mine and Tim's review of it for Sims Underground, I'll leave a link below for our review of it. And at the time I made that review, I had just seen it, and at that time it was the most disturbing thing I had ever seen. I'm having flashbacks after smoke, that's why I did this video outside. This is a real background, this isn't green screened or anything. But, um... Yeah, I think that, well obviously people are gonna challenge it and stuff like this by saying it's, you know, despicable, something like this shouldn't exist, even if they haven't seen it, just, you know, for their own sensibilities. I think that goes without saying, you know, this isn't the first one to be attacked like this. And I still stand by the statement that I made in uh, mine and Tim's review that I believe this is the cannibal holocaust of my generation. And, um, I guess, without the newborn porn, this movie would be considered, you know, a sick, twisted fuck drama, you know, probably in the same vein as, you know, like, Bully, or Kids, or Murder Set Pieces, something like that, but whenever it included the rape of an infant, it knocked it up to the big leagues, you know, so now it's kind of the top dog of, a uh, sick, twisted, and fucked up movies, but... I mean, it threw me off guard. The infant, infant rape was something that I'd never seen before in a movie, you know, and it was definitely something new. And I I'm not entirely sure people were ready for it, but they got it, needless to say. And when you look at it from the perspective of the creators, uh, the entire film was supposed to be symbolic of how the Serbian government rapes its people. And I think with showing the rape of an infant, it conveyed a message that the people of Serbia really have no chance. When you're born, you're already fucked. No pun intended. So, putting that out there, I think that's physical representation of the newborn porn. But, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with this video. I guess I'm just saying what I feel about the movie. Uh... Is it still the sickest movie I've ever seen? Yes and no. Uh, I recently watched the August Underground movies. Uh, Mortem, I would say, is on par with a Serbian film, but I think a Serbian film is much more palatable since it's in the narrative form, whereas a, Ser er, wait, no. a Serbian film is more palatable because it's in the narrative form, you know, it's a story, it's a movie being told, whereas uh, Mortem is presented as uh, found footage, you know, it's grounded in reality more. So, in that sense, I think Mortem is more disturbing. I think it's the sicker film, but as far as content goes, the Serbian film still wins, and it does affect you, you know? And I'll admit, uh, when I first watched it, I did warn a lot of people, you know, if, you've, if you're not into extreme cinema, this is definitely not for you, and I still stand by that, but... One thing I regret, whenever I did review it, I had this kind of elitist attitude, and I'm really ashamed of that. And I told a lot of people, you know, don't watch it, you can't handle it. Which, with most of the people I told, that was true, but... I regret it, honestly. But, you know, a Serbian film is really only the logical conclusion when it comes to fucked up movies, of course it was going to come to something this extreme eventually, whether it be 2009 or 2015, uh, it was coming this way eventually, and it's kind of set the staple for what is disturbing 
in cinema these days. So I get the feeling we'll see more films like that trying to, you know, compete for the top spot. But a filmmaker and a writer would have to work very hard to give a film as much heart as this one had. Give it as much heart. But I don't think this movie was made with the intention of being the sickest movie ever. It was made with a message. It was made with love. If you want to believe that. I don't mean made with love as in... You know what I mean. But... I don't know. I'll just say that it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And if you think you can handle it, by all means, watch it. It's great. And it's not for you, it's not for you. That's obvious. But I don't think that you should project your own fears or insecurities upon something you don't know anything about. So... In conclusion, I'm going to end this video with a quote from the film. What do you know about a free fuck?